<laughs> Yo guys, what's up? <clears throat> I actually won the challenge. Oh my god, it's my first 12 wins I've ever gotten. Makes me so excited. I get refunded one of the 100, so that's been about 600 gems trying to complete this challenge. Um, But you guys still have two days left, so let me, oh, let me open this real quick. Let's see what we get. Minor, minor, minor. Inferno Dragon. Okay, I'll take it. Level 2 Inferno Dragon. That's pretty good. Uh, let me just show you my stats. So here's the deck I used. <clears throat> I found it on Ben Tim's channel. Right here is actually one of the best decks I've ever seen. For the challenge. Oh my god, it was so good. I got one defeat here because I uh, lagged out. I would have gone 12-0, but I lagged out. Like, my Wi-Fi stopped working properly. Yeah. That's basically what happened. 12-1. and one. So happy. Maybe we can get another legendary out of this. Or not, I don't really care. This is my second account, by the way. But this was a hell of a lot of fun. I'm so proud of myself that I beat this. Let's get some epics here. Aw. So no legendary out of that. But damn, that was... That was really exhilarating. I really would have liked a new legendary like these guys, but I can still get three more legendaries basically after this. Wow. So, uh, let's just go through the last replay. It was actually pretty crazy. And I'll commentate over it. So this King Gamer guy scared me a little bit because he had a Sparky. And I use my P.E.K.K.A. for defense, which is one of the main things that the is in the stack for. As you can use, uh, Dark Prince and um, a Dark Prince and Bandit, and it'll just crush a tower. So that's like one of your best offensive pushes, especially if you can get Pekka in one lane with a Baby Dragon behind it or Night Witch. It's it's over. So he placed down these three things, and I was scared a little bit. So I placed down this, but my it's still he still hit the tower with that Sparky. I was trying to zap it, but because I didn't want to waste my Sparky just yet and reveal I had it. As one of the most important things in this deck. So I placed down a bandit right here. To try and take this tower. And then I placed baby dragon too. That pretty much crushes the electro wizard. But the bandit gets to the tower and does a lot of damage. The bandit is honestly my favorite card in the game right now. As you can see it just destroys that tower. So I was like okay alright alright. We're off to a decent start. He hasn't taken our tower yet. We took his. It's all good. The deck really thrives in double elixir time. Just remember that. You don't have to. You, you can pump in double elixir time, but it's not as important. Since this deck can be pretty heavy at times and hard to get a push going. See, I just completely botched my uh, Night Witch placement and just completely screwed myself over and Sparky killed me. Which oh, really sucked because I was like, damn, now I have to defend against the Sparky. So I placed on a bandit, hoping that it would hit the Sparky without it letting. And then, but it still gets just completely destroyed, so I don't have anything to play. So I was like, damn, right my tower. That really sucked. So basically, so basically, gets there, does one hit, one damage to the tower. Or not, one hit of fireball damage. I placed down my P.E.K.K.A. to try to get an offensive three star, or three crown, and try and like... I just kept, I had to keep pushing him because he would have destroyed me and if I let him get his Sparky down and stuff, I just had to keep pushing. I tried to get this Bandit damage down, but she just went for the Sparky. And it's really good for the Hog Rider decks I found when they do Hog, Hog Rider um, Ice Golem to place a P.E.K.K.A. down because usually that's their main push and they don't have anything else. In this deck, in this case he did, he had a P.E.K.K.A. and a Sparky, but it was really heavy. So he had a P.E.K.K.A. and I was like, God damn it. That's not good. I don't remember the first time seeing the P.E.K.K.A., but I couldn't get through the tower. And this just made me, like, almost went insane thinking we'd lose this. So we stopped that wizard and Valkyrie right in their, sh in, right in their tracks. Except for the wizard. No, well, actually, we don't get the wizard. Night Witch will get one hit on the wizard. Then I zap that Sparky out of there, but the Electro Wizard goes down, distracting him. But he still gets a hit off on the Sparky, and the Sparky goes down with the bats. And the Bandit goes down there, 
but he places a sparky, really good placement, blocking the bandit, not allowing me to get my push down. I placed down Baby Dragon and the Night Witch. I would have placed down my Pekka to deal with his Pekka also, but I didn't have enough elixir at the time. And then he placed down a Hog Rider. I was so screwed. So I placed down this. Then I had to zap it all just to make sure. And then as I put my bandit down behind my Pekka, hoping to get to that tower. But as you can see, the Sparky really, it, it just screwed you over. The hardest card to deal with this, like Ben Tim said, was um, to deal with the Inferno Dragon and Inferno Tower. So that's why I changed that zap. Usually this deck would have log in it, but uh, we, I followed what he said and changed it out with log. I changed log out with, because I got 5 and 3 with log, but with zap I got 12 and 1, so it's so much better. My bandit gets to the tower and gets it down to 224 where I can just poison it and it's game over. And I was really excited because the wizard right there, if it had gotten one more hit off, then it, two more hits off, it would have taken out that tower. But basically, uh, that's it. If you guys want to copy this deck, uh, please go ahead. Uh, there you go. If you can see it, just right here. The Elixir Collector, the Night Witch, just all that. If you want to copy that, please go ahead. I can just show you my tournament stats again. There we go. I did really horribly. I did this challenge so many times. That was my free one I lost because I didn't have anything good. Then I lost, but I was like, nah, nah I'm going to persevere and I'm going to get this. Four, and then I got five and twelve, and I was like, okay, alright. And then I got twelve and one, and that made me really excited. This isn't my main account, by the way. This is my second account. I know I'm not really good on either of my accounts, but I made it to... Huh, really? <laughs> well, I think I was doing a trolling video that never got released, but my highest trophies was 3,336. I know it's not a lot, but, like, it's better than nothing. So, uh, basically, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's really exciting for me. Just uh, going 12 and 1. I've never gone, gotten 12 wins in a challenge. So I just want to say thank you to everyone that uh, likes my videos and supports me. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.